identification of cerebral palsy is important for early intervention yet expert based assessments do not permit their widespread use and the conventional machine learning alternatives they lack their validity so here i am going to discuss on the thought what is the external validity of a deep learning based method to predict cerebral palsy based on an infant's spontaneous movements at 9 to 18 weeks corrected age Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club your daily dose of health and medical news I am Dr Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about the development and validation of a deep learning method to predict cerebral palsy from spontaneous movements in infants at high risk We all know that cerebral palsy is the most common physical disability in children producing functional limitation and co-occurring impairments because the injury to the developing brain happens Now cerebral palsy is typically diagnosed between the ages of 12 and 24 months and milder forms of cerebral palsy may be diagnosed even later in the childhood. Now the early identification of infants with a high risk of cerebral palsy is important to provide targeted follow-up and interventions during their infancy when neuroplasticity is usually high. It improves access to the community services to minimize the complications and also to reassure the parents of those infants who are at high risk if their children are unlikely to develop cerebral palsy. So for this reason a recent study published in the JAMA network was conducted to develop and assess the external validity of a novel deep based learning method to predict the cerebral palsy based on videos of infants spontaneous movements at 9 to 18 weeks of corrected age. So this prognostic study of a deep learning based method to predict cerebral palsy at a corrected age of 12 to 89 months involved close to 550 infants with a high risk of perinatal brain injury who were enrolled in previous studies that were conducted at 13 different hospitals a total of 418 infants were randomly assigned to the model developmental sample and 139 were randomly assigned to the external validation sample So the results of this study based on these two groups showed that the deep learning method achieved a higher accuracy rate than the conventional machine learning method but no significant improvement in the accuracy was observed compared to the GMA2 So the deep learning prediction model had higher sensitivity among the infants with a non-ambulatory cerebral palsy versus the ambulatory type and also spastic bilateral cerebral palsy versus the spastic unilateral type Therefore in this prognostic study a deep learning based method for predicting cerebral palsy at 9 to 18 weeks corrected age had predictive accuracy on external validation which suggests the possible avenues for using deep learning based software to provide objective early detection of cerebral palsy in clinical settings That's all for today stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon